and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Salamancer, and you are watching Sal TV. And after a long drought, we are finally getting back together with our good old friend Highlander. So we have a little scrim here. Now there are some leagues that start tomorrow, and we are going to enjoy watching those. But yes, we have uh, a little bit of a Highlander scrim here. These teams are getting ready for their match tomorrow, which is quite probably going to be on PL Badwater. So they're playing right now on PL Badwater, and so we get to see kind of what the standard Highlander stuff is for for these games. Now right now it looks like the Tin Team versus Team Tardy, a.k.a. Uh, my good friends on Clan McCart. Um, I was told this was a good game, but it looks like the Tin Team is actually playing a man down right now, so it is 8v9, unless I am completely mistaken and something weird happens. But, let's see what class they are actually missing. It looks like Tin is missing a scout. That's kind of a big deal. I mean, you need that scout there. But anyway, they are running a crits creek, which is going to be pretty cool. And uh, playing a little bit far forward here, of course, you kind of have to do that when you got the crits. But, of course, they're setting up their sentry back there and giving them all the time in the world that he needs to get that set up. Where the medic go? Okay, looks like he is probably going to pop it on this soldier. Soldier just kind of standing there. Uh, Could have been sniped, but didn't. So he got a little bit lucky. Oh, if he had popped it right there, one grit rocket would have just completely ruined that whole team. But, oh, no, Kelly goes down right away. And Yellow Cake drops Uber. Uh, looks like we do have Zarlor running around through the bottom there. But he may end up getting stopped. I don't know. Soldier down here trying to stop some of this action. And Infinite Recursion goes down right away. So a tin team in a very good position here so far. Not sure exactly what... Uh, what uh, our blue team is trying to do here, but McCart, um, interestingly, look at this, Xenocyber heading back over here and way, way behind enemy lines. He may be going all the way back to enemy spawn just to try to camp it. That'd be a little bit silly, but looks like uh, we did have, finally, that Chris Krieg was popped, and Yellow Cake went down once again. Yellow Cake is the medic, actually, for Clan McCart, so he died twice, once to that uh, Chris Krieg, which is pretty crazy, but let's just see. Xenocyber, no, he's just... Oh, that's really weird. Did he already knock out their teleporter? Where is their teleporter right now? Because that's that's an interesting little play there. Um, and yes, it looks like there is no teleporter. So Xenocyber here is going to be stopping any sort of defensive action coming through here. Yeah, look at this. Oh, there you go. Except doesn't quite manage to get it. But uh, yeah, he's he's uh, he's put, putting the demo man in some trouble now. And it looks like our demo man here is going to be okay. Meanwhile, though, as Monkey tries to get back this health kit, we also have some action on the card. It sounds like the. Uh, the sentry is still above the tunnel, though, and being wrangled. That is never a fun situation for the offensing, offensing the offensive team. Uh, but with the two spam classes over here, and now the sentry sapped, it may just go down here. Yes, it does. Finally getting knocked out, and so does Harkinian. So good engineer set up there. It just got spammed down a little bit too hard by Clan McCart, and they now finally are probably going to be able to push this cart to the first point and set up a capture time. And yes, they have even Ubered in here just to make sure they give themselves enough room to do it. Um, looks like they're pushing back uh, Sir Pot. What is your name? Good medic, Sir Pots and Pans. Um, and looks like Private Mendez here. Mendez, we've seen him before, and he is going to be trying to... Oh, get good headshots there. Did get a quick scope on Kella, the heavy, for Clan McCart, but didn't manage to kill her. She just has way too much health. Going for the headshot there on the scout now, and that is not going to happen, because now you're being spammed down. So that's exactly why you don't stand out of there in the open as a sniper. Just, uh, just don't do it. So... With a capture time of 1 minute and 51 seconds, McCart here pushing the cart towards the second point, but now there's a spy heading around behind, and it is going to be impossible to find that. Oh, both the soldiers go down there at once. Arkinian trying to set up some defense up here, but he is having some trouble, because now it looks like uh, the demo man down here and the pyro coming upstairs, probably going to be able to knock us out, and so does the heavy. So, yes, looks like the high ground has temporarily gone to the offensive team. Problem is, now there's a spy coming around here, and does get caught, though, by Xenocyber. So Xenocyber, happy about that. Um... Uh, let's let's just find somebody. It looks like the medic's still running the crit creek, by the way, for the defending team. So, uh, an interesting choice, because usually you're going to want to see... Uh, oh, ouch. Usually you want to see a, uh, a, a Uber on defense. I'll explain that in a minute, because there is some action going on right now. Xenocyber trying to get over there and deal some damage, as well as push the card. But at very least, they've gotten it past this point now, and that's a big deal. Um, because as these guys get pushed back here just a little bit, look, you can no longer go through that door once they've pushed the cart this far. So uh, now that they've gotten it past that second point, it's going to be a little bit easier to start getting the pushes there. Good stab there by Zarlor walking around and knocking out that demo man. Very, very good for him. Um, and what the heck was I going to talk about here? Because if I feel like I was saving something pretty important, but I completely don't remember. Oh, yeah, the Ubers. So uh, you really kind of need the uh, the regular Uber there just to defend like your, your strong positions. Good use of the Chris Creek, though, and actually, um, look at all the damage he's dealing. Yeah, that's that's going to kill everybody. So, as I say that, of course, well done there to Prozac and his wonderful medic, Sir Pots and Pans. Uh, a tin team, glad to have them on their side, because, wow, the, the 
crits heavy there, just dealing some crazy damage, and nothing Clan McCart could do about it. So that really sets their Uber back quite a bit. I was going to say, though, normally you want to have that... Uh, you want to have that defensive uber there, especially if you're setting up like a, uh, a defensive spot on top of these, uh, the high ground here, something like that, where you've got your NG set up. The defensive uber on a pyro is just so awesome. Uh, oh, Gamu watching here for this, but he actually could have been spotted there. I'm not sure why he didn't get spotted, honestly. Now, let's see if he can get a good kill here, but it looks like we've already got a lot of kills going down. He's probably going to get Kella. Oh, uh, no, he's not. That's ah, going to be it, Gamu. Sorry, bro, uh, but your moment of glory was not right there. And now it looks like the uh, offensive team here, the attacking team, I've got to use the word right, the attacking team, losing a lot of players, having to pop out here once again, and let's just see what yellow cake is doing where did he go infinite recursion over here popping out and trying to hit stuff on the right hand side he is of course one of the demo men i've actually seen naya play demo as well for clan mccart um, but he's one of the demo men for them and he's trying trying to retake this high ground problem is there's now a sentry up there once again uh, clan mccart just due to that crazy crits krieg managed to lose the high ground here and yes that was crazy with a cage because crits krieg was k as well and I mean, you can't spell you can't spell one without the other right um okay so yellow cake sitting over here in this little uh, this is a very common hold position here, but it probably shouldn't be peeking around like that. There's a sniper over there. Yellow Cake, what are you doing? Don't peek your head around that corner. Let the rest of your team do it for you. He's got 67% Uber and is, yeah, he's just getting a little bit ahead of his heavy here. This is one thing that I've noticed him do um, in the past. Oh, a sidestep by Gamu! And Kella turns around, manages to take care of that, but, but yeah. Um, Yellow Cake has gone down once again, so just you just got to be very, very paranoid when you play Medic, especially in Highlander. There is always a spy, and if you're just pushing with the Heavy, that can be a problem, because the Heavy isn't going to be able to watch front and back at the same time. Not that Killa's a bad Heavy, but I mean, gosh, guys, get, get your pushes together here. Um, and Killa once again pushing over here while, oh, look at this, we can actually watch both sides of the action at the same time. <laughs> uh, no, okay, looks like the high ground has finally gone back to Clan McCart, and they are able to push now, but there you go, Yellow Cake getting knocked down again. Uh, having your Medic push in the cart. Probably not a good idea, because uh, you've got other classes that can do that. Zarlor here trying to just harass that sniper as much as he can, but it's not going to work very well, guys, because it turns out um, Spy only has like 125 health, so, you know, gets knocked out by the rest of the team very quickly, and we're going to watch Dino now, trying to get some good damage down. Dino is a very good pyro, and has been mentored by some of the best, like TMP, the master pyro. So, uh, he, of course, is... I think he's been mentored by TMP anyway. He's, I know he's friends with him. Oh, look at that reflect. Uh, it may have been like a little reflex reflect, but nonetheless, very good. And there there goes the soldier um, trying to knock out the medic here, but it looks like Yellow Cake has gotten away and will be healing up his engineer. And now, um, wow, that, that Tomislav really, I mean, he's not using it like you normally see a Tomislav use. Normally, the Tomislav is very, very much an uh, ambush weapon. He's just standing out there in the open trying to... Uh, trying to chip away with it, but that's what you're going to see sometimes. Cashew Head just looking to see if he can't get that spy down, but that's not going to happen. Uh, and now he, he's really paranoid about this spy. There we go. Finally spots Gamu, and spots the heavy as well. Gets a nice, decently charged body shot on him. Oh, crap. Sounds like we had a... Uh, a Uber, a Crits Creek pop once again there for Sir Pots and Pans. This time it didn't go as well. He ended up dying, but only five left alive right now for Clan McCart, and we're going to watch the Monkey 66 cam, because Monkey 66 is a cool dude and a good demo man. Like, I've played against this guy in uh, MGE before and in all kinds of deathmatch stuff, and he's just like tools on me. It's really awful, um, for me anyway, but oh man, infinite recursion going down to a fully charged body shot there from Private Mendez, and then gets a headshot on Xenocyber as well, I do believe. Uh, and so, yeah, he is he's looking to go huge here, trying to stop that spy from getting health, but Heavy's walking in his way. Well, you know what What I always say, man, is that uh, when Heavies are walking in your way, that's pretty lame. Don't let him do that. Yeah, it looks like Clan McCart here is having some trouble pushing. I don't know uh, if they maybe just haven't played with each other in a while, but they got to get something together here, and what they really need to be doing is playing together more, because, I mean, look at this. you got a Heavy over on the left side by yourself. You've got... Uh, you get a lot of people just walking into spam and really not able to set up that offensive front line that they need. Now they're finally kind of doing that here behind the cover and dealt some decent damage. Harkinian is down, and that means the engineer engineer is down right now for a tin team. Looks like we do have actually a, another person in there. So there we go. Uh, Rental is finally playing the scout for the red team. So we've got nine. But here comes the Uber that, that has been so long in coming. We have not seen one of these from Clan McCart in forever. Um, yeah, of course, it's Highlander. Sometimes you just can't get those built up. But I would like to see them do that a little bit better. Mendez now going for crazy headshots. And Yellow Cake is in trouble using the overdose there. But at the same time, he is getting that car push just that little bit much further. And that means, of course, that a much better time. Right now, it's a little under three minutes for two points, which isn't terrible. But they've spent so long on this fourth cap. Or third cap. I'm sorry, I always call it third. But it's like the fourth point, I guess, from the start. But it's really only the third cap. I get so confused. 
Um, but yes, this is an STV demo between Clan McHart and a Tin Team. I don't know why I just said that. I, I guess because I thought I was just streaming. But turns out I'm actually recording for YouTube, too. <laughs> um, Dino getting some really big kills here. And it looks like a Tin Team is doing a very, very good job on defense. Um, but at the same time, can they hold off for the next three minutes and stop this cart from only traveling a couple of feet to finish up that third capture point. I mean, it, uh, just looking at how long it's taken so far, that's that's really good for them already. Justin Observer got in a, a bit of trouble there, tried to drink the bonk, but it was just a little bit too late. It takes you a while to drink that. Um, so not going to work for him. Now Harkinian's having to trudge all the way back out here. I think he's built up a level 3, and he's just going to walk it all the way out. Uh, interesting decision. But yes, it looks like that's exactly what he's done. And oh, wow, he could have uh, been really hurt there. And it turns out that's exactly what he's trying to do. That Pyro wanted to stop that sentry from going up, but it did go up, so Harkinian... Ooh, excuse me, Harkinian knows what he is doing. Um, we do have the the core, it looks like. Oh, no, actually, just the Medic Heavy again, pretty much. Oh, and now here comes the Demo Man and the Scout as well. So, okay, now they've got a little bit more defense. Um, but, yeah, they've got the core hanging out in this upper house area, which is a good staging point for pushing the cart onto that last area. It's just the problem is right now there is that... Uh, that sentry there that they are going to have to build their uber up right now they've only got uh, about 80 percent and sir pots and pans is 100 he is running a regular defensive uber now which is exactly what you want to see here for guarding these sentry guarding these really fortified locations that defensive uber is going to be really awesome um oh and the uber's actually already popped here so so a little bit early there i think they uh uh, they could have done something better, but they did force the pop from blue. That means the sentry's probably not going to go down anytime soon because right now they're just trying to keep their demo man alive, dealing as much damage to the enemy team as possible, though. And, oh, is he going to pain train this heavy to death? Yes, he is! Oh, the pain drain of death killing uh, Prozac there. And Prozac has not died a lot this game, i got to tell you. Zarlor now coming around behind and seeing if he can't get into the enemy's... Uh, get into the enemy's... Uh, Century, but the problem is, yeah, I think he's been spotted out right now, and so they're gonna know he's back there somewhere. Um, but let's just see what he can do here. Uh, if he can either go for a big stab or knock down the sentry, either one is gonna be really good for him. It looks like he is going for the engineer. No, okay, he's gotten lit on fire, and there you go. That's that's just what happens when Dino's hanging around and watching for those spies. Uh, he actually, I've heard Dino complain that he doesn't spy check enough, and his team kind of gets mad at him for it. But worked out that time. Uh, he has been hanging very, very well around this sentry. So, Dino walking over here into this. Oh! Oh no, Dino! Oh, so he went for the Reflex Extinguisher kill, and it turned out he didn't actually have the Extinguisher. He's using the Home Wrecker right now, so interesting choice there. But it's just a Reflex for him. He's He might even have a bind for it. I don't know. Um, nonetheless, that is what he wanted to get out of that. And he's actually going for the Flare kills. Of course, Flares deal like a, a critical hit of 90 damage if you hit somebody who's already burning. And so you can set them on fire, hit them with that 90, and they are pretty much dead. But there goes Dino now. The Uber has been popped once again for a red team, but they're having to drop back here. Not in a very good position. That was a, that was a very, very aggressive Uber. Um, Could have gotten some hits off of the, on those crits there from E-Stigma, or maybe that's a, a Sigma. You know what? That is that's a, that's a sigma. So that's sigma stigma. <laughs> We're just gonna call him stigma. Anyway, uh, good hits there by stigma. Cashew had trying to get some kills on that medic. Not gonna happen. He may end up getting needled to death here. Uh, no, looks like he gets saved by a soldier at the last second. And now the red team has finally lost their defensive position here. Um, 15 seconds left for blue, but they should be able to push this cart up to the hill. It's just that remember this is stopwatch mode, and so both teams get a chance to go on offense here. And that means that the time that they're setting for this capture point is going to be so horrendously long. Look at that, 12 minutes and 30 seconds just for this third point. And even if they manage to push all the way to the last in this particular push, it's still going to be, like, amazingly, uh, just, just amazingly hard for them to defend for that long against a tin team. So this is looking like it could be anybody's game right now, and a tin team has done a very good job on defense so far. Kella using exact, doing exactly what you like to see those heavies do whenever they have infinite ammo, like from those dispensers. Uh, just sit there and fire and fire and fire. Only problem was uh, she was getting out into a position where a sniper could have gotten her or something. This is a good defensive setup here, by the way, by a tin team. Pretty much where you want to see your sentry go up on the last point. And then you kind of want to let your... Uh, let your team go up here and, and, and pressure the enemy. Don't let them get those crazy defensive positions. Actually, offensive positions, I mean. Uh, a good attempt in here at, at killing the sentry, but the pyro, Dino, did a very good job of stopping that. Now the problem is the sentry is uh, is going to go down here. I mean, there's a roller behind it. There it goes. It goes down, and so looks like Clan McCart actually may have uh, the ability to... Oh no, I was going to say they could have pushed this card all the way to the end right now, but it seems like there's enough players up for red that they may very well be able to uh, stop this. Oh, Gamu, what are you doing? Getting in there and walking straight up to a pyro and gets the stab on him anyway. 
on Camu. Wow, going huge there. So that redeemed himself for his earlier mistake there on this on this uh, on this cast. Well done to Gamu for the uh, side stab on the pyro as he was chasing after him. Uh, and now it looks like Mendez wants to get a headshot. Oh, knocks out Keller with a fully charged 450 damage headshot. Nothing is going to survive that short of a heavy with his steel fists out. And uh, no, Kello is not using the steel fists. Pretty much nobody does anymore because they have been nerfed. Jordan's got some good high ground here. This is really what you like to see out of the soldiers. Take this high ground as much as possible. Um, and I bet you didn't even know you could go up there, did you? Well, you can, and that's exactly what Jordan has done. Uh, there is still no sentry up here, though, and that is a problem for the defending team. Infinite Recursion, you're doing a very good job of harassment and, and damage, just dealing that damage to keep the enemy from really being able to stop them. Problem is, right now, they've still got to get in here. The Oh, the Uber is down. Infinite Recursion does not like his positioning here right now. Um, the Medic has gone down. Yellow Cake gets knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> the yellow kick actually got knocked out by the home wrecker, and so that is pretty hilarious. Dino is still like reflex pulling out his uh, melee weapon, even though he knows it's the home wrecker now. He's just like, yeah, this would be funny if I killed him with it, I guess. But a tin team here with some very, very staunch defense so far. I'm, I'm liking what I see. I'm liking what I see from them. Um, can they hold this for another two and a half minutes? It looks like the, that is a very good possibility. They they are down a pyro though, and the pyro is really what you need to stop the ubers from coming in. But since yellow cake only has like. 40% right now. Uh, that Uber's not coming anytime soon, so they've got plenty of time to get that Pyro back up, and Harkinian has moved his sentry location. If nothing else, I mean, you set that sentry up there once, and you set it up here. They're both just about the same. You know, they can, like, the one down here, maybe you can get spanned from up there. The one down here, you get spanned from up there. But either way, uh, you just switch it up a little bit, and the enemy doesn't quite know where the sentry is. They're going to have to find it and spot it out again. So that's just going to be probably one more death or, or something like that for Clan the Cart before they realize that it's there. Um, some good damage being dealt here by Jordan still on that high ground, but now finally it looks like he gets forced back, and the red team is being very, very aggressive on defense here. I kind of like this. They are basically, as long as you hold this area, you can actually uh, stop anything from coming in, but they lost their heavy now, and is their sentry up? Yes, it is still hanging out over on that left-hand side. Um, Jordan once again taking the high ground, and looks like we have the soldier and heavy down right now. Oh, look at this. Yeah, this is exactly why Harkinian moved that sentry. They, oh, they wasted precious seconds and precious ammo from that Uber. Did not manage to knock the sentry down just yet. Now it is finally down, though. It looks like the cart may actually be able to push the cart to the last point here, but they've got to deal with this heavy standing on the point. Oh, he gets bonked there. That is no good for him, and that means that it looks like, oh, this is going to be down to the wire here. Only a minute left, and it looks like Red Team has actually managed to hold the cart off from the last point. So they've got, if they can hold it off for this last minute, then they are going to have 12 minutes and 30 seconds just to capture three points. That's going to be really crazy here. And Rental just running around behind enemy lines, and so is the spot. This could be really huge. Zarlor coming down here, though, and he is going to do whatever he can to stop this sentry or maybe just go for the stabs. Knocking out Dino right away, but, oh, he's giving the enemy medic Uber. Um, Sir Pots and Pans, that was 100% Uber just from those Uber saws. Huge deal. That means that Pots and Pans is going to be able to stand here Uber whenever he needs to and stop this cart from moving. He can just go stand on it if he absolutely needs to. So amazing stuff, guys. And Xenocyber, oh, doing some good uh, spawn camping there, but it's not going to be enough. I mean... What he really needs to be doing is pushing the cart. Problem is, the enemy... He, I mean, he's kept the enemy sniper at bay for quite a while, but yeah, there he goes. Finally gets knocked out. Just by a no-scope. That's all he needed. Um, Dino is now down, but where's the Uber? Here it is. That's exactly uh, that's exactly what they needed. Oh, look at this! They're, they're not standing on the cart! It goes in anyway! Oh! <laughs> At the very last second, they had the Uber. They just had to stand on the cart with it, and they didn't realize what was going on. That is hilarious. So it looks like the teams have been switched here, and now uh, Clan McCart is going to be on defense. They have to defend their four points for 17 minutes and 20 seconds. 19 seconds. You get the idea. Um, that is a very, very long time to defend. So going to have to see whether the Tin team can win this little round or whether Clan McCart can actually hold it off, and I am going to like seeing it. Um, I don't know if they played multiple games here, but I'm basically only going to cast one because uh, this I've, so far it's been a good game, but I'm only going to cast one. I don't have a lot of time tonight to cast multiples, and remember that we do have the... Uh, uh, the UGC Highlander League and apparently the e one of the European leagues I want to say ETF2L but I could be wrong but one of the European leagues, both of them are starting their Highlander League uh, tomorrow that is Monday September 12th and so tomorrow we are having some really awesome Highlander action, just like non-stop stuff. And of course, there's always the 6v6 too, which has just been amazing to cast so far. So there's a lot of stuff coming up, and if you like what you see here, of course, hit that subscribe button over on my channel, youtube.com slash fatmop. If you aren't subscribed yet, what are you doing? If you love watching TF2, you need to hit that subscription button right now. Do it.
do it. So we've got uh, now with a tin team on offense, they are pushing out this the same side that we actually saw uh, Clan McCart push out initially. Yellow Cake, of course, has his 100%. We were just kind of holding onto it, but where is he holding it right now? Looks like Jordan goes down, but so does Mendez. And Green Light, the soldier, gets taken out as well. Uh, where's the sentry, actually? I'm kind of confused here. It looks like they're actually keeping it in this spot. Oh, but the spy is getting right around behind. And this could be hilarious. Yep. Looks like we have abandoned the, uh, uh-oh, abandoned the sentry, but people could still be watching it. No, I think, uh, I think Gamu may be able to get it. And here we go. Oh, the engineer's back. Dude, engineer, that's, that's a spy. That's a spy. Engineer, that is a spy. You gotta take out the spy, engineer. Take him out. Oh, no. The, uh, sentry is down, so that could mean a very quick first point capture. But the card is all the way back there. They actually may have time to build another one up. So... I don't know. We will have to see what happens. But a tin team pushing that cart now with all of their might now that the sentry is down. Sigma Stigma, though, is still up, still building up that sentry, and he is being protected by his heavy medic and demo on the high ground. Dino doing what he can here, but gets knocked out of midair, killed by the anti-aircraft gun of the heavy, and now Gamu takes the ball in the head. That is not a good thing to do, guys. Uh, so when you see that baseball coming flying at you, um, what you need to do is duck, because if you don't do that, you're going to get hit in the head by a baseball. And just like in real life, it's going to stun you. Private Mendez here walking out, and oh, tries to go for the headshot on the heavy, but problem is, Uber has already been popped, and that means that uh, as this Uber has hanging out up here, uh, they're going to be able to put a lot of time on this clock and stop, hopefully stop their enemies from pushing this cart too far. Tin Team having some trouble, but their medic stays alive, and now Kella is down. Looks like our demo man here, oh, just getting juggled up into the air, that's never fun. So Monkey66 taking some juggling, uh, but our medic here, I'm... I'm this is surprising. Actually, it looks like this sniper and mini sentry combo have managed to keep the enemies away from our medic, and so he's back up at 100% uber. Um, Justin comes over here and helps knock out the... Uh oh, what? Mendez with the quick scope on Justin Observer. Um, and I, I've just got to say that for all the times Justin has killed me, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, not feel sorry for him at all. <laughs> so I love coming over here with a good side stab there on Dino. But yeah, uh, the more time they waste here, the the less time they're going to have to cap all those points. It's down to about 15 minutes now. They have to capture all of the points here on the map. And uh, I, I don't know, Dino's team, a tin team so far, having some trouble pushing onto this first point. It is tough. Um, and they're, they look like they're trying to set up this, this uh, forward position here with a dispenser and everything. That's always nice. But it's actually getting spammed down here right now by Jordan, I want to say, the soldier for Clan McCart. And so Clan McCart here with a very, very good hold on the high ground, protecting that sentry location on the low ground. And the sentry, of course, is great for when the medic needs to drop back there. It's also great for just stopping any sort of uh, cart pushing in its tracks. Gamu there going for, I'm not even sure what he was going for, maybe trying to get some stabs on somebody who was hanging around the tunnel, but he just got spotted out, and that's never fun. So he is now down. And this is a very good defensive location. Problem is, you have to have most of your team standing on the high ground for it to work. So get back up there, guys. What are you doing? Don't don't lounge around the sentry. That's not what you got to do. Because look at how far uh, the tin team has pushed right now. They are yeah, they're they're pretty far up here. Okay, good attempt at a snipe there by Mendez or not Mendez. Yeah, that was Mendez. My bad. Mendez does does though die to the Uber. So uh, it looks like. Clan McCart here is taking a page out of the uh, previous defenders' books, being very, very aggressive with how they use their Ubers on defense. If they see the enemy getting out of position, and if they think the enemy doesn't have Uber or whatever the case, um, they have they've they've punished them like every time. So I like seeing that from them. Uh, the way I used to play medic on maps like this was I would just hang back, and if the enemy didn't have Uber, it didn't matter. The only thing I would really end up Ubering for was uh, was like a pyro if if like an enemy was pushing onto the sentry or something. I would always wait for the counter Uber, and I don't know, like, it's just two different schools of thought. I do like how these Ubers are being used, though, and so I don't want to criticize anybody. I think it's probably a better idea than what I was doing, to be completely honest. But we do have the, uh, the, the still this good setup here, and only 20 seconds left for, for a tin team to push this cart um, all the way from here to this point. Can they do it? A lot of damage going down onto, a, onto Clan McCart right now. And actually, now that the Uber has been popped, it looks like they'll finally be able to knock this sentry down. Um, oh, going around for the stab here. Oh, the Uber's popped, though. And this may actually stop this cart from being pushed. I think that this round could very well be over after such an extremely good defense by a tin team. I don't know if they can manage to push the cart far enough. It's just it's going to be really close here, but looks like Dino's actually on the cart right now. He's doing some good air blasting here, and they can't actually push it. There they go. Looks like most of Clan McCart is down. And, um... Wow, just barely managed in overtime to cap that. So they still have 12 and a half minutes to cap the rest of the map. But wow, that was uh, that was pretty awesome, guys. So 
the claim the cart is now having to back up to second point and and looks like while wow, prozac is already trying to clear out the high ground on the second point here gets the drop on kella probably going to get the kill here oh kella so close to, no actually not close to death at all only at 171 health so just fine and prozac goes down to a spy so he's unhappy about that so, uh, the cart getting pushed here, but who owns the high ground? That is the question right now. It uh, looks like Blue probably does. Yes, Blue owns the high ground, and that means they're going to be able to push the cart all the way to the second point with no problem. If you lose that first point there and you lose just everybody, then you don't have the time to set up on the high ground and really stop the enemy from gaining it. This ground up here, if you can get a sentry up, is just one of the most difficult positions to break in the entire game. Short of, like, CTF Harp, which I have cast a couple times, but, yeah, it's a very, very difficult difficult position to push here and so it looks like um with that position out of the way i think that a tin team is really going to like their chances right now prozac does go down once again to a spy though uh, and let's see if we can't find out okay so good hold position here by um or at least a decent position here by clan mccart but look they can actually get spammed from the high ground and that's what's happening they oh the uber is forced to pop really early uh staying on that low ground probably not the best of ideas there we go just walking through the floor there with the camera but oh man counter uber there for uh, blue team and they're just going straight for everybody defending back here where is the sentry just now going up but it is going to die very very quickly sentry is indeed down oh good kill on the medic there by jordan though just shotgun to the face ouch uh yellow cake now down as well but uh kella owns the high ground here just trying to knock out that mini sentry but whoa no gonna get backstabbed i i'm calling it right now there you go there's the backstab <laughs> and so remember that it took clan mccart just forever to cap this and now this, they still have 10 minutes left on tin team to push forward and capture the final point remember guys this is just a scrim this was not a league match the league matches are starting on monday this is sunday as i'm casting this so it is a scrim in preparation for the league matches but so far so good gamma getting around here and looks like he wants to do some spawn camping no he's just gonna pretend like he's walking out of spawn that's always fun and then just see what he can kill here uh, actually looks like he may kill the scout that he's disguised as does managed to do it just an observer is now down um not that that matters too much the scout is not really what you need on the on a offense most of the time for payload really what you kind of need is to get your medic heavy demo soldier core in position have a good spy have a good sniper um the scout is is really secondary um on on payload maps especially just because they tend not to have as much open field for him to run around and get the kills jordan now doing good on defense here but there's still nine and at like more than nine and a half minutes it's just under 10 minutes to defend this point and that is gonna it's, it's just gonna be crazy if they can set up a good sentry location like right under here um and then protect it as best they can against these ubers that's what they need to do but the sentry location already down to the tommy slob heavy uh, on the other hand though kella with the great ambush positioning knocking down the medic and actually even though uh the that other heavy was spun up before her she still managed to get the drop on him uh now gonna be taking a lot of damage here from these if she's not careful probably Probably going to die here to Dino. No, Kella is just a beast of a heavy, knocking down everybody that comes her way. Um, problem is now the high ground is very, very much owned by Blue Team. I oh, there you go. Good aggressive soldier jumping there by Jordan from Clan McCart. And let's watch the infinite recursion cam for just a little bit here uh, as Kella gets healed up by the medic and, and gets that over heal ready to go. She's probably at crit heals by this point. Just hiding down there and letting her engineer set that sentry up once again. Uh, sounds like Prozac tried to jump down and deal some damage, but he is down. Where is the sentry from McCart? They really need that. And the other thing I think they need is to have a pyro hanging around their sentry at all times. Xeno Cyber is actually still running the back burner. Now, it's it's cool to see the back burner out there. It's cool to see him going for those uh, flanks. But on this last point, you really just need a degreaser home wrecker combo. Um, in case your engineer goes down, you can get those sappers off of it. And uh, you need to hang out here like where the sentry is supposed to be just sit down here and what they need to do is counter uber any sort of uber that comes in use the pyro to air blast that back so they can keep the sentry alive and the sentry is really uh the focal point of defense on bad water right here i just i don't even see a sentry right now um so it looks like the uber has been popped on kella which is decent oh no the sentry's actually down here okay that's why i didn't see it that's a decent position for it actually you can go back into spawn and just get a whole bunch of metal for it um and it is a little bit protected from the high ground good defense with the sentry 
uh, with the Wrangler there, that is. Oh, just an Observer is six health left, and the Medic does not go down. Uh, oh, no, finally does. That uh, It looks like Pots and Pans is down now. Rental trying to get as much of a uh, capture time on this as he can. Can he actually push it all the way to the end here? Dino just air blasting away, and there he goes. Dino wins it for a tin team with like eight minutes left on the clock, and it looks like they want to play another game, guys, but uh, I, it's already like really late for me, and I have not rendered any videos yet today. So uh, this has been an awesome game, and I wish I could cast more of it, but there's going to be so much to cast coming up in the future that uh, I'm just going to have to sign out now. So this has been Salamancer. Hit that subscribe button, and I'm signing out.